Well, I did my medical school and residency here in Arkansas, and I'm, I'm from Arkansas originally. I knew that I wanted to do cardiology. Well, at that time, we didn't offer a pediatric cardiology fellowship, so I had to leave the state to do that. Uh, but when I finished, I knew where I wanted to come back to. Arkansas people to me are special, and Arkansas is home, and this place is home to me. I'm a pediatric cardiologist and my primary focus is in uh, the area of fetal echocardiography. What that means is, is that we are looking at babies' hearts prior to birth to see if they're structurally normal. For those that we find that will be born with a heart defect, then we spend a lot of time with those families explaining what the defect is and talking about what will need to occur at the time of birth when we think surgery will be indicated and what types of surgeries may need to be undertaken in order to make that heart work best for that child. There are so many patients and families and interactions that I can think of that, that are awesome, but I can tell you one story in particular that comes to mind that happened about two years ago. The first part of that story, though, actually happened about 18 years ago. A baby was born uh, locally and was noted soon after birth to be blue. And that baby was sent to us over at Children's to make the diagnosis and, and care for the child. I was the attending on in the cardiovascular intensive care unit that day. And I sat with that dad and went over what the anatomy was and what the heart problem was. And as I explained all those things to him, he started asking questions like any parent would. Is my child going to live? Is, is my child going to be okay? Are they uh, going to have a normal life? And I went through the individual particulars of what you could expect and tried to reassure him that I anticipated this, this child was going to learn to sit and crawl and walk and talk and go to first grade. And one of the things that I, I happened to say was that and when she's 16, she'll ask you for the keys to the car and that's when you need to be worried. Fast forward 16 years. I got a call from the mother and she said, we're getting ready to have a 16th birthday party for her. We want you to come. And I felt very honored to be asked to come to such a personal family occasion. And then she told me, we bought her a car and we want you to give her keys. That's what it's all about to me. That's what makes it come full circle, that we're there throughout the life of that person that we've supported since they were a tiny baby all the way up to adulthood. That's why I do what I do.